Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn about how to use Angular Material List. If you remember, in the previous video, we used Angular Material Badge and we used breaks to separate them, but the output was not really great or as desired. And that's why we will use Mat List in today's episode to beautify that. So we are continuing with our full tutorial series. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you haven't checked out the previous videos, please do so, so you can learn all about Angular Material. Let's get started with the practical in this tutorial. So we have compiled our application and this is how our application looked when we used mat badges. So we are going to beautify it by using mat list. Let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is as usual, we have to include our mat list module in our app module. But like I told you earlier, we will not use individually. Instead, we have imported all the required material modules in one page or one file. And then we created a module and we are just importing that module every single time. So we have included our module, which means the mat list module is now available for us to use in app component.html. So we are going to revisit this page and we'll change the functionality. So to do so, we will write mat list. This is the attribute we'll write. And then for that inside, we will use mat list item. All right, so this is our list item that we want to present. So I'm copying the badge that we created in previous episode. And similarly, I will create one more. And I just copy paste it one more time. So now we have three list items. So now we do not need the breaks anymore since we have added a list now. So I'm going to get rid of them. And the whole point is to make it much attractive using the list itself. So here we are now. Now you see these are much better looking because we have arranged them into beautiful mat lists. So this is how you use list mat list which is nothing but ordered or unordered and we can customize them accordingly so this is a basic example of using a mat list now you can use any any uh, different type of it for example if you are building a navigation list you can call it again a mat card and then we can use mat nav list so this will now have a navigation. So you are kind of grouping your data and you're telling that this is a navigation item. And as usual, we can create some kind of CSS based on our requirement and adapt to it. So these are four navigational links that you can customize. Right, uh, let's quickly see what happened. We created mat nav list and then mat list item. Oh, sorry, it should just be mat list item because we already grouped them. Sorry about that. All right, so that's it. So you are grouping with mat navigation list and then the list items. So we can now see, now we have, you see these are clickable action items now. You can click on them. You can see there is a slight hover on it. So these are now clickable, whereas these are not because these are clickable because these are nav items. <coughs> so this is how we can use our navigation lists. So this is, you can include different types like mat, you know, icons you can use any section you can build a header out of it these are all the possible use cases that you can try 
But to get started, first I want you to try these two. Use mat list along with badges and then put a navigation list which can be used for navigation or clicking. This was part of our Angular tutorial series. In the next tutorial, we will learn about the grid list. Now that we know about how to use list, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use Angular grid list. Stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.